Hello, everyone. Welcome to our call today. My name is Shelley Francis, and I'm publishing partner with Jana Mall, the founder of Energy Medicine Specialists. And we really appreciate you joining us today on short notice for a solstice meditation, which you will be able to listen to. We'll send out the recording afterward. And um, you can play it again over the weekend or on Monday or anytime. But first, I'd just love to start by asking Jana, um, where did the idea come from for doing this meditation for the solstice? Well, I noticed that it was quiet, very, very quiet. And by that, I mean, I have a knowing as we all do that there are many people that have died due to COVID. And we also know that many people have died alone without family members with them. And normally trauma at the time of death or passing can create a disquiet in the soul. And I hear that if I tap into it. Um, and I, I noticed that I wasn't hearing it. And I mentioned on Facebook that it was awfully quiet for so many souls having passed over or in the process of passing over 300,000 souls in our country alone. Um, and I mentioned it to another friend and that person said, you're right, it's very quiet. I've also noticed how quiet it is. And um, so I sat with it to, to see if there was anything else about that I needed to know. And what I realized or intuited was that something was coming, that it wasn't going to stay quiet, but it was currently quiet. And so I kept watching and watching and it was, what night was it? I'm thinking it was Tuesday or Wednesday night about 9.30 at night. All of a sudden I started hearing a very faint wailing, like a keening, like, um, like a moan, a high moaning. And um, I knew that it was starting to build. And I mentioned to the same friend that I had talked about it being quiet with. And she said, yes, she was starting to hear it as well. And, and so thinking about this and being aware of how momentous this time is right now with the astrological formations. Um, we have Jupiter and Saturn that are going to be conjunct, meaning looking like they're on top of each other in the sky um, on the right on the winter solstice. Within a couple of degrees of the winter solstice, they will be at zero degrees Aquarius which is said to be the entering of the age of Aquarius or a momentous time when Aquarius energy really picks up. Um, there are all kinds of prophecies out there as well about this thousand years of peace that are coming. Now, peace isn't going to happen overnight. You have to work toward it. And I think what we're seeing in this shift with politics and this shift with human awareness of suffering, those that don't have jobs, don't have financial support um, through the government or anywhere else, those that don't have, can't afford their student loans, those that, um, uh, just those that don't have right now, those that don't have health care, health coverage. I think there is an awareness growing. There's also an awareness growing of, um, prejudice in our culture against women, against Blacks, against different um, financially set or, or disabled populations. And I think all of this is part of this fight that we have coming for peace. And this winter solstice is extremely important because we're moving from Saturn, which is, or we're moving from um, Sagittarius, which is Earth, into Aquarius, which is air. And that is always a time, 
especially with this pandemic that we've just come through, um, it's a time of renaissance. So it's a time of new ideas. And I think it's important for us to mark these times as sacred journeys. And so with all of this happening, I thought that it was really important that the eye be turned to what's happening to these souls on the other side. And because there are so many of them, and because many of their passings is traumatic, either for those that have passed or for definitely for those left behind, it's important that we have a banding together of souls and intention to counteract that energy of stuck trauma to release it. So this idea of, of creating this arch of light around the conjunct planets, the Christmas star, they're coming together in what's being called as the Christmas star formation. And if we create an arch of light over this bright star, it felt like um, that was going to be a pathway to help carry these souls into the light, into a better place. And, um, and when I mentioned that on Facebook in this long thread about what was going on, several people said, why don't you lead a meditation? And I thought, well, okay, I can do that. <laughs> So that's how we got here. <laughs> it's kind of a long story for how we got here. All right. So would you like to take people through the preparation that you suggest, whether it, they have um, what they need now? Um, and then after that, I'll, I'll stop sharing the screen and we'll just listen to you do the meditation. Yes. I can't get to my other page, though. Not sure I can do that with this up, but let me see. Come on. Okay. This is a meditation for the solstice of 2020, which is actually Monday. Uh, it's Sunday night into Monday, so it's December 20th and 21st. Um, and it is a meditation to anchor light in the dark times. So I welcome you. I would hope that before we get started, you prepare yourself and I will lead you through a grounding and centering um, to be prepared for that. But also you'll see that I've lit some candles and done my own self preparation. Shelly has a candle. Um, light is important in the dark times because it gives focus. And so as you center, and we're all going to each individually center, centering is focusing within. And the easiest way to do that is to focus on your breath. So I'm going to ask you at this time to focus on your breath. Call all of your energy home to this moment. On each breath in, draw to you all that you need including your focus and that which flows to you from the divine spirit. On each breath out, release all that you no longer need, all that would keep you from being your highest expression in this activity. We ground ourselves by strengthening our connection to the Mother Earth. Feel, sense, or imagine your energy connecting with her as though large, deep roots flow downward toward a beautiful crystal at the center of our planet, which is the Mother's heart. And allow them to expand outward, widening your stance to hold you firmly in place.
align your Hara and build your, your Hara energy, which is your column of light and your true essence. It connects you to the brightest light in the universe and anchors you on this physical planet. It supports your expression and quality of life. As you imagine drawing in light from that brightest star, follow it as it flows down through you, enlightening you with its brilliance. Now expand your light to connect with everyone else's Hara light. Those on this call or listening at any time in the future that we may together create a collective column of light to assist healing and growth for all in this sacred and momentous time. We call forth the beings of light, the angels, our guides, the masters from across time and space, and the ancestors for each of us, for our greater community of healers, and for all those who are needing healing and an end to suffering at this time. sense or imagine them assembling around us. We state our collective intention. We intend to be vessels of divine light and compassion to assist those lost, suffering, or waiting for others in the dark so they may be comforted and free us to collectively shift our own darkness and suffering. We surrender in the name of love, all of ourselves to establish alignment with Mother Earth, Creativity's Moon and Father Sun to meld into the essence of oneness for a greater good. When pure connection overwhelms the core of our being, expanding outward through our collective Hara alignment, it pierces the mist that separates the earthly human from our benevolent universe. Imagine this as a field of stars twinkling in the darkness. Together and with those guides and angels, masters and ancestors assembled to assist us, we contribute our light to build an arc, a huge arch of divine light from our hearts as this divine light shines outward from each of us, our community of helpers. This arch of light is created in the southwest sky, high in the air and arcing over the Jupiter-Saturn star conjunction. So our arch of light creates a tunnel 
with a bright Christmas star at the other end. This is the time to sound the call. The call without words. The call of light and compassion. The call for passage is now, and the portal has been made ready. It is time for all of us that know of this alignment to join in oneness, anchored in knowledge, fused in love, holding this archway open in the truth of who we truly are. Now is the time to share our connection, to build a community of warriors for truth and goodness. This bonding of oneness raises our essence, our frequency to one of global citizenship. I gift you my light and truth. And I ask for your light and truth to join with mine, to move through this archway, this gateway, this portal into the air ruled by Aquarius, guided by Saturn and Jupiter. As we fuse our sisterhood and brotherhood of human kindness together in this goal, anchored in the oneness of celestial light, we move all those living and past who are seeking grace and healing into a sacred peace and tenderness as we draw them to the opening of this archway and into the tunnel toward the bright Christmas star at the other end. Imagine those who have assembled, drawn by this light, beginning to sense hope for the peace of surrender. Imagine those who have suffered alone, those who passed quickly without understanding, and those who resist the reality of change, all moving now toward the light at the other end of the tunnel of starlight created from our hearts and imagine them being embraced by the collective heart of love. And now imagine that as a beacon, our arch of light, which highlights the portal of Aquarius, draws all those who are yet to come to transition from this physical life to the collective pool of soul light where they will be greeted, nurtured, healed, and find love. And for this purpose, we leave this arch of light to find all those needing to know the way. Now drawing in your focus once more to your own body, bring your awareness again to your breath, the in-breath and the out-breath. Remember that you are a human being of light, alive and full of passion and purpose, whether known or yet to be more fully discovered. You have answered the call to anchor your light on this planet, in this community of hearts, and for greater healing. 
drink in the sacredness of this journey and give thanks. Many blessings to you, those you love, and the collective community. Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining us today and may your solstice be full of blessings.